Hello everybody, this is Tech Night from Boston, Massachusetts, and this is part five of Box One 2020 Penny Hunt and Book Fill. So let's see here. Alrighty, we have nine weighty so far, so I'm hoping we get a whole bunch in these last ten rolls, because that is way below my average. Uh then on top of that, we do have uh quite a few Canadians here. We got six, we got one foreign from Bermuda, two oh nines, a couple of shinies want to match up against the album, a 68S. In 259s, one Philly, one Denver. Well, let's get into these rolls here and hope to fill in a lot more over here. I'll be back with the first find. Okay, buddy, on roll six already. Yeah, um, I thought these rolls were going to be a little better. They looked a little more circulated. Thought it was going to be, uh, you know, hopefully a couple more weedies. So far, none. But we do have something of old. Oh, that is old, I guess. We have a young head Canadian. Something to show off, at least here. And what do we have? A 19, uh, 63, 53, 1953. I believe that is the first year, if I'm not mistaken. It's either 52 or 53. I'll have to look that up. Give me a second. And yes, actually, 1953 is the first year that Queen Elizabeth was on the Canadian coin. So that is really cool. Well, let's hope these other four in three quarter rolls here give us something else. Still in roll six, and we finally have a weedy, and it looks a little beat up. Let's see if we can get a year off of this. 1949, we'll take it. Back with the next. Okay, this is exciting. About 10 or so coins later, and look at this. This one is slick. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we have a nice old one here. I would be so happy with that. See, we got a, we do, 1934. Look at that. It's been forever. Don't know if we need it enough, but I'm sure happy to have it. Back with the next or the wrap-up. Well, this box is officially hunted. Let's take a look and see what we found. Okay, so here is the wrap-up. I've already gone through all the ones that were in here um, to see if they would upgrade the book. They didn't at all. I've actually gone through all of these already. Nothing upgraded or filled a hole at all. The 1934, we do already have one, and that one is not better than the one we already have, so it's not going in. Um, this was still, um, for a five-part video, this is part five of it, a lot of fun to do, a lot of fun. Not much uh, in the last two videos, but the wrap-up here will help. Starting off with a 1934, then we have a 40, a 41, and a 42 all Philly. Then down here, we have a 44. Followed by a 47 and 49. Then these three right here, though these three stacks actually, there is a 51 and a 51 Denver, then a 52 and a 53 Denver. Again, none of those did we need for the collection. Over here, we have two 2009s, and the first one is a 2009 Type 2 Denver, and the second one is a Type 3 Philly. Next column is our Canadian coins, which we did have uh, nine of those. We had three young heads, a 53, 59, and 62. I don't think I've ever had that many uh, in one box before. Maybe I have. I don't recall. Uh, then we get down, and we have a couple in the 70s, a couple in the 90s, and a couple in the 2000s. Over here is a 1997 Bermuda. Um, was a nice find in addition to the Canadians. We had multiple, multiple foreigns. Uh, this box was a lot of fun. I did have my uh, 59 Philly and 59 Denver down here as well. And that is... A wrap up for this box. This is a lot of fun. Um, hoping that I'll be able to get full boxes and do full boxes again soon. But for now, this is the way I'm going to have to do it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you like it, if you think it's horrible, you want me to go back to full boxes and not waste my time making five part videos, or if you actually look forward to them. Let me know down below. Until next time, happy hunting.